Hello and welcome back to the Midnight Moose channel. We are checking out a Minecraft mod for the Binding of Isaac today. It's called the Binding of Steve. Playable characters Steve and Enderman come with it. So let's try out Steve. Uh, we're gonna try to go to the dark room. I hear something cool happens there. We are Steve. We have the pickaxe, which is pretty cool. We can look for a secret room. Oh, we found it. And we have the crafting table. That gives us a chance to duplicate a pickup upon picking it up, I think. And, um, you know, there's going to be a lot of Minecraft stuff here. What? Oh, we just traded away our crafting table to a villager for odd mushroom. Oh, well, it's tears up at least. Anyway. Uh, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah. So this is not a fully unlocked file. But we can get to the darker. And I did that. And playing on this file as a choice so we can maybe see more Minecraft items so you know the pools aren't flooded with all the character completion items so we'll see how it goes and yeah this might be fun oh there we go there's a ender pearl eye of ender I don't know what they are I don't know if they are when I play the game either so that looks interesting though let's try and get 15 cents maybe we can uh, cook one up or buy it I guess would be the normal phrase to use uh, Mom's Perfume, not a Minecraft item, but that's totally okay. Fear Shot is pretty nice. The Tears Up is also good. And lots of enemies is exactly what I was hoping for in this room. Here we go. Okay. Alright. Still... Alright, there's a penny. Oh, the boss room is here. Why not try it? Gemini, pretty sure not, that, not a Minecraft uh, enemy, but that's okay. Alright, we're going to clean them up right here, take out the little one first, for safety. Hoping for a Minecraft item from the boss. Not sure what any of the item pools are in. Not a Minecraft item, that's for sure. But we're two-thirds of the way to Mom, and we don't even have our crafting table, so... Whoops. Okay, we've got a library, which, you know, that's, that's a thing in Minecraft. There's libraries in, uh, what are they called, fortresses? Strongholds. Anyway, we got a key. That's not Minecraft. We'll keep the pickaxe. Notched axe, as I like to call it. And, okay, cool. No Minecraft enemies. Really working out pretty well so far. But we are Steve, so that's cool. Let's look for the super secret room. Okay, we could get money. It's not likely to get 15 cents, but what if we do? Okay, and we're on one hit, so hopefully we don't die. Actually, give me a heart, please. Perfect, double red. Don't mind if I do. Could check more rocks for a crawl space. It's unlikely to occur. Let's see what this new item does. Eye of Ender, press C to craft with... What is it? Is it with 10 items or 10? Oh. oh, that's cool. Is that homing? Well, either way. He's a big familiar. I like that. Well, let's see what what it say. Press C to craft. We'll try it when we get down to the next floor. Basement two. You need ten coins, bombs, and keys to craft. Ten of each, or ten of any in total. Okay, interesting. And what does it craft? <laughs> All right. Well, that's fine. Bible tract. Don't mind if I do. What does that do? I don't know. Either it gives more soul hearts or more angel chance. I get it and mom's pearl confused basically every time. So another double red heart payout. What did I do to deserve this? We are on hard mode. We don't necessarily get champion payouts, but thanks. Okay, so if we find 99 keys or bombs in the secret room, that would be... Oh god. Wolves. And a duck. Well, it's a chicken. Alright. I guess we gotta beat you up. It's sad. He wasn't really attacking us, but, uh... You know, we had to clear the room. Oh, no. Oh, goodness gracious. Skeleton spider. How do you get to him? Oh, the spider can climb over rocks. Can the arrows? The arrows go through. Uh, rocks. That's cool. Do I just stand far away to get you to come out? What's your range on that, pal? Pretty high. Yeah. That, that's gonna happen. Um, oh, I guess we could use the notch tags and get it into him. Didn't think about that. My bad. 
Okay, stop shooting me, please. It's just like the skeletons in the game. They have near-perfect accuracy. It's actually insane. Open up. Oh, that's not good. Do get a luck up, though, so that's cool. And some of our health back. Okay. Do we have a key? We do have a key. That's not a Minecraft item. It's not even a fun item. But we'll touch it so it doesn't show up again. Well, pick up one of these. Go down here. Uh-oh. Alright, made it out alive somehow. See what this is. Anzus could give us secret room locations. It definitely did. Grab that. And we can save our bombs by using the pickaxe to open up the secret rooms. Hoping for a little bit of health, maybe, or some Minecraft stuff to enjoy. Okay. Alright, thanks for the keys, I guess. And we still got a decent chance of a double deal. This was a nice great chest, for God's sake. So can we turn five or ten coins into a... Uh, what do we do? You need ten... Okay, you need ten of each. Because it won't let me do it with ten coins. That's pretty nutty, in my opinion. That's a big ask. wonder what it makes. Okay, well. Got a stone chest. Might as well blow it up next to the shopkeeper. Get some spiders for free. Always love some free spiders. Alright, we do have a lot of money-ish. And we don't have anywhere near ten bombs. So I guess we can go in the shop and maybe spend some money. Maybe there's a new item. Well, not necessarily, but a half-price booster pack is pretty nice. Two of diamonds. Two sure. Of diamonds. Chariot, Empress, Magician, Hanged Man. And we'll buy this for safety's sake. I guess we can get PhD. Two balls of steel. Okay, suddenly we have thousands of health points. That's great. Alright. Use the Empress here just to speed it up. Could get a double deal, honestly. 81% chance is pretty high, considering we took red heart damage. This floor. Obviously not this room. But yeah. Okay. And I guess we can take a look. Maybe some... Oh, good. We got the Mother Transformation. Maybe some Minecraft items are in the devil pool. Nope. Or at least not yet. Well, we'll keep it open. We don't need that. And... Is there a mi Oh, there's Steve on the on the floor. Not Steve in the dream, but that's okay. Alright, let's see where we're going. We got a challenge room. We only have one gold key. Maybe we... Or one key for a gold chest, that is. Maybe if we get a golden key, we could... Uh, do that room. That'd be nice. Alright, take these guys out. A simple key is still pretty good. And what were our boss items so far? A range up and a luck and range up of soul heart. So we're looking for either a new Minecraft item or just a nice tears or damage up. Actually, we got plenty of tears. We're looking for a damage up from the boss. I forgot we got the small mushroom at the beginning. All right, one pill. We do have PhD. Bombs are key. I mean, we have two of each. That's so not helpful. How about a pill that gives me 10 bombs, keys, and money so I can try out this crafting thing? This could be good. Oh, we're not. But Mr. Mega is decent. Definitely gives us five bombs. This could lead to the right after we... Oh, gosh. Zombies and a zombie villager. What the heck? Alright, let's take him out. And, okay. He spawned a shopkeeper. What the heck? Interesting, interesting. Open this up. There we go. Okay. Oh, well, thanks for the bombs. Okay. we got over... Now we just need ten keys and we're good to go, honestly, for this crafting thing. This room is quite the bomb-filled extravaganza. Yep, and that reminds me, we can just get the pennies this way. Well, these two anyway. Alright, see what's in here. Lots of bombs again. Pretty interesting, if you ask me. I think we're going to skip the gold chests and hope for more keys in the future. Where we can get the bombs our key and then find more bombs in the future. It might be worth holding on to, honestly. If we find another secret room full of bombs, we can use it. And then pick up the bombs. Alright, let's see who we got for the Catacombs 1 boss. Dark one. Might take a bit, considering our low damage. But really hoping for a damage up here. Okay. 
Oh, that's guest tier. Tears up. It didn't even give us a tears up. I do have the wiki in the other window. Let me take a look. Guest tier. Guest tier. Adds minus two tier rate. Well, it didn't really do that for us, but that's okay. Well, I guess I think that's based off uh, anti births. The minus two is actually plus something, but we're still 4.5. Oh well. Alright, here we go on Catacombs 2. But yeah, I believe this mod was originally made for an er, Afterbirth Plus, and they did translate it to Repentance. They did whatever updates necessary so that would work with Repentance. So thanks for that. It's not always nice to see a mod or whatever taken care of by its creators. It's pretty good. Get this guy to... Okay, he doesn't even want to fire at us when we're right next to him. What's up with that? Oh, he's feared. I could explain it, maybe. I mean, I guess we could check here. We do have a room here. It would be great if we get into it. Okay, we can. That's pretty nice. Maybe we'll get a boss item. Even uh, Mom's bag of pills would be fine because we got PhD. And regular pills are fine too. Tears up. Health up. Think about it. Bombs are key. Yeah. Okay, I'll take the money. And, okay, this has to be damage, right? Yes. And a golden key. That's really nice. Not that bomb, but thanks. Okay. And since this is... Uh, repentance. I think if you use the bombs or key pill, your golden key at the moment gets changed to a golden bomb, which I think is pretty interesting uh, use for the pill. And I'm sure there's a strategic way to use that, but we don't have to min-max every floor. We're just having fun fighting Minecraft enemies once every 12 rooms. All right, let's see what's up here. Oh goodness, no. Well, <clears throat> the creepers are doing just fine, so that's good. Fear really helps, since they're not walking up to us to explode. And I guess we'll get a free bomb and look for a crawl space. Relax. Went back to the Steve face just for the relax animation. I like that. Okay, we'll check it out. Golden key here. Oh, what's that? Nether wart. Uh, well, it'll take us under 10 cents, but that's fine. More rooms for potions. Potions? I haven't had any potions. Let's check this out on the wiki. Nether Wart allows to carry two potions at the same time. Replaces all cards and pills with potions. Okay, cool. So now we're going to have potions. I like that. Oh my gosh. Right, at least they're not too fast. And that guy spawned another shopkeeper. I guess the villagers do that? I don't know. Okay. But we got Nether Wart so we're pretty happy about that. More keys. <clears throat> pretty cool. We do have the... Let me just fight you. We do have the golden bomb. So we can give her uh, some of those. And one of those. Okay. Is this pills or potions? Pills. Pheromones. Luck up. Balls of steel. That's good. And another pheromones. Looking for more of those Minecraft items. Acropolis XL. Kind of crazy. Oh, pheromones is AoE for the whole room? Or is that just because we have PhD? I don't know. But that's nice. You can check skulls for black hearts. Oh, what the heck's that? Iron nugget. Shot speed up. Oh, it's a trinket. Sure. Why not? There we go. Hey, that's a great item. Don't mind if I do. Nice damage up. We got two mushrooms all of a sudden, so one more and we get the fungi transformation. That's pretty cool. We're going to take Bible Track over shot speed, let's be honest. Oh, there's a potion, I think. Splash poison three times damage tick for how long? Oh, so you throw it? Like a chaos card? Well, I'm not going to throw it in this room. But I should. Check the... Oh, another potion. What's that? Regeneration. Heal a half heart. Does it heal soul hearts? No. And that's expected, honestly. Okay, why isn't there any combat in any room? 
Let's go down here. This room. Hey! It does the poison effect. That's neat. Okay. We can check out the shop. We have plenty of keys. And here's three damn keys. We should have never used the, the key pill. Because, my god. Got a bomb. That's good. Let's see what this is. We could get more bombs. Ooh. Why not, you know? Oh, we have ten bombs. I don't know what it crafts, so we gotta wait till after combat. Alright, let's open these up. Oh, there's thousands of things here. This is nice. Okay. And let's do a craft. You need ten. Oh, we made another eyeball. Okay. That was neat. It brought up the, uh... Crafting window. That was cool. Alright, so now we got two eyeballs. So we can turn consumables into more and more eyeballs. That's pretty neat. Also, where the heck are we going? Soul hearts galore. Mm. <laughs> Ipecac? I mean, you know, why not? Uh, Bible track definitely has to be helping us out with soul hearts. Partially because our angel deal is not partially because we're finding so many soul hearts. That's how I know it's doing that. Okay, let's see if we can get through that room without getting hit. Ooh, a potion. Splash poison. We kind of have splash poison right now. What was that? Okay, we got a library. Lectern. Enchantment. What's this? How do you do it? BCK. Alright, let's look at the wiki. Let's see what's going on. Object added in the Binding of Steve. It can randomly replace slot machines. We saw that. There's three letters displayed on the front. B for bombs, C for coins, K for keys. One of them will be highlighted. To pay the table, you must give it a pickup that is highlighted. Each time, the letter will change randomly. 75% to be coins. And after some donations, they'll give you a random enchantment that, you'll choose, that will be chosen from the following list. Okay, so there's like 20 enchantments. Obviously, mending, looting, sharpness, all the Minecraft enchantments. It needs bombs right now, since the B is highlighted. And it's a shame, because we don't have any. So, cool. Maybe we'll get some from this room. That's a penny. There's a bomb. Alright, let's try out the enchanting table. Took me a minute to remember what it was called. Okay, you want a key? You want another key? You want another coin? You want another coin? Hopefully it doesn't say bomb again. Oh, power. We got plus 13 damage. I'm guessing it would be lower if we didn't have Ipecac. It'd be like plus 1 or 2 damage. But hey, that's pretty nice. Now we have 80 damage. We can work with that. We actually also have magic much, so that definitely helped the, uh, the buff too. Adversary has not too much chance here. Our tears are really quick, so that's good. Like, super quick, even, like, especially with Ipecac. I don't know why. Shot speed is fine. We shouldn't get more range, though, that's for sure. Let's go in here and fight Mom. We are firing explosives. This could be dangerous or not. We want to go to the negative path for reasons unknown, and let's go. All right. Womb one. Oh, magma cubes. Interesting. Dropping potions. Leaping. Flying for a minute thirty. Okay. Oh, there's the boss already. We will walk this way. Double Loki could be dangerous. We did get hit, so there's that. Hoping for PJs or something, just to secure our health a bit. Red HP isn't the worst thing in the world, though it definitely could be. What the heck is this? Chain of Golden Apple God for 30 seconds. 12 room charge. Let's see what it is on the wiki. Uh, item. Okay, spacebar item. Enchanted Golden Apple gives two soul hearts and immunity for 30 seconds. Holy crap. That's really powerful. Probably a rare get from the angel, but we did it. We're just so skilled. Probably. Well, we'll take it, because we already left the room. And, uh... <laughs> there we go. Oh. Okay. Womb 2. I could just use this uh, now for two soul hearts. Does it do 230 seconds immunity? Oh. Let's take one of these. Because we got two eyes. Infinity. Actually, 290... We have 99 of every... Uh, consumable. That's crazy. Can we craft more? We can craft. We can. Cra okay, we're making all the eyes we want. Holy crap! 
All right. And by all the eyes we want, I just mean nine more eyes. So imagine if we didn't have Ipecac, we'd still be doing just fine because we'd have been throwing 11 eyes at people. That'd be crazy. All right. Regular Loki. Stands no chance. Paper. All right. Let's check the wiki. Wiki. Trinkets. Paper. Does the I can see forever effect, but only on super secret rooms. What the heck? I mean, it's decent, but we have, you know, unlimited explosions that are quite limited in small spaces. Look at that. We just throw one and, like, 11 shots seek out different enemies. This is pretty crazy good. We'll pick these up. If we get another bomb, we can get another eyeball. Okay. Yeah, let's use the... I forgot. Let's use the heart. Let's use it in this room, or the apple, I should say. <clears throat> so we have immunity for 30 seconds. I don't know if it goes through rooms. My guess is no. But who knows? Oh my gosh, it does. Hey, wither skeletons. Not anymore, though. And that's okay. So that's pretty nice. Two soul hearts and immunity for a long time. That's kind of OP. Pills that shouldn't exist. This is great. Oh. Got the blazes over here. What in the blazes? Okay. Didn't drop any blaze rods. That's fine. More magma cubes. We'll be, uh, we'll be turning them into little cubes, that's for sure. Is that another flying potion? I was told we could hold two potions. Apparently I was lied to. Kill that guy, get another key. We could get immunity here, why not? And just blow up it lives and his eyeballs. It sounds like a good idea to me. Alright. Brimstone. No worries. The We're going down. Right, we still have our shield, so we can explore uh, with impunity for a while. What's that? Map. Well, I guess we'll check it on the wiki. Map. Does the I can see forever effect, but only in the regular scene. Hmm. Well. Great. And there goes our shield. Honestly. Very sad. Don't have any bombs, somehow. But we do have Ipecac, so we could get some health here. Okay. Wow, better payout than I could have hoped for. That's for sure. Oh. Uh, Shulker box. Mr. Shulker, please, stand up. It's like a host, but worse. Worse. Excuse me. Oh gosh, talk about worse. Goodbye, Loki. Thanks for the health up. Healing, plus three hearts. Oh, give us soul hearts. That's cool. There we go. That was worth it. Isaac's head. Does Isaac's head go behind every eye? No, he's right with us. We'll keep Isaac's head. Try a bomb. Not that we're missing bombs, but you know, it's always nice to one-up the competition. The eyeballs are going to be helping us out a lot. Ipecac is pushing him a little bit. That's good, too. Only got hit once. Not too bad. We could blow up the leeches really easily because of all the stray shots. So hopefully we don't do that when they're near us. But who knows? I think we walked in our own shot there. And then walked into a leech. Pretty good. Delirium, we got bigger fish to tackle. We're going to the lamb. Steve transition looks good. Dark room. Not bad, not bad. Pumpkin hat. What does it do? We gotta get it. Pumpkin fear and size up. Oh my god. And Rotten Baby's a good buy these days. Uh huh. Okay. Golden Bomb is interesting. Not a super secret room. I guess we can go for the lamb right now and see what's going on. Alright, gotta dodge these shots. Meanwhile, we're pelting him with explosives. What's new? Alright, the body's down. That's good. This guy could brimstone or charge us at any time, so you know it's dangerous. And we hit ourselves with our own shots. That's dangerous, too. What's that? The Ender Dragon. Oh, no. The Ender Dragon. Oh, Dragon Breath. Here, I'll give myself flying. I don't know if it helps. What's it doing? She's just standing there. Okay. Oh, God. Okay. We're doing good. Stop throwing Dragon Breath everywhere, please. Okay. What's she doing now? Oh, she comes to the middle like in the real fight. Take that, you Ender Dragon lady. Is it different music? 
Oh, the... Right. Well, that was the Binding of Steve, and we killed the Ender Dragon. First try. So that's pretty cool. Let's hop in the chest. Thanks for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you want to see more Isaac content and Isaac mod content, all that stuff. Thanks for watching. Thanks for being here. See you next time. Have a great day, and take care of yourself.